lovelies, Rome Rumor here. Welcome back to my channel. This is the second time I have tried to film this video because the first time I did it, my audio was really weird. It was muffled in places. I don't know if I was covering the mic and I didn't realize it because I don't usually film like this. But here's take two. So today's video is actually in response to a request I got and I thought it's a really easy video. I have not had a good week and a half or so. The universe is abundant with fuckery lately. I'm not quite sure how to handle it. So I thought, you know, this is a really easy kind of vlog type video. Won't take long to edit. I can do this. So today we're going to do an altar tour. So y'all get to see like my stuff and my lovely things and maybe it'll be inspirational. I don't know. So, to start off, this is my working altar. I have two altars because I don't have enough space. This is my work altar. This is my devotional altar. Two. So to start out, this little corner here, I have a dragon incense burner. That's actually my husband's. He's more into kind of the Dragonian path, dealing with the dragons more than me, and he doesn't actually have his own altar. He just uses mine, which I don't mind. So that incense burner is actually his. It's a vertical incense burner, so the stick actually sticks up vertical, and it falls into the little pit of crystally goodness at the bottom. This is a weird thing. It's a cardinal skull with some feathers. There's some cardinal feathers. There's a blue jay feather. There's some fake feathers. I don't know what it is. That jar thing, I actually got at the Dollar Tree, by the way. But that's that's a weird thing. I make weird things. There's a skull candle, got it from Walmart. Apparently, if you light it, the wax comes out the eyes and it's really cool. But I don't have the heart to actually light the thing. So, it just stays up here now. That's my little cauldron. It's a teapot. See? It's a tiny teapot. As you can see, I have a little Yule tree. My altar is actually still kind of decorated for Yule. That's why you see the tree, the red candles, this thing. It's all, you know, still set up for that. I haven't changed it around for in bulk yet. You know, I can't stay on top of things. This is my chalice. I notice a lot of people comment on my videos saying they have the same chalice. You want to know why? Because this chalice is amazing. Look at that face. Look at the wolf. Look at it. It's gorgeous. Everybody shout out this chalice. It's great. That's my little boo dude. See my little boo dude? He is actually a tea light candle holder. I don't know if I still have him back there, but he's a little tea light candle holder and the light comes out of his little eyes and his little ghosty boo mouth and it's cute. That candle, blue one, first one I ever made. I make a lot better ones now for my shop, trust me, but that's the first candle I ever made. So it's kind of messed up. But I still use it. There is Tiny Anubis. Look at him. So Anubis is actually the first god that I tried to work with. And he rejected me. So all you baby witches out there, yes, they can reject you. They can tell you no. You're free to worship them all you want. But they have no obligation to work with you if they don't want to. He didn't, which I understand now, but I still have a tiny statue of him because he's great. That's my main pillar candle. I have a lot of weird things around it. As you can see, it's literally just on a small plate. Nothing fancy. I took it straight out of my kitchen. I have not upgraded that. You know, it doesn't always have to be perfectly aesthetic. Yeah, I just have little seashells, little acorns, a rock. A copper coin, piece of silver, there's some gold over there, at least a gold-plated coin, so I kind of have the little metals around. These, the lighting just got really weird, guys. But these, these are my crystals. There's some, there's a bone. You see this? More dead things. Don't, don't question it. There's my crystals, some more crystals. I don't have, like, a lot, and I don't have, like, a lot of big geodes yet. 
because I'm a broke bitch. Buy my stuff on Etsy so I can afford big, giant crystals. Please and thank you. This is the goodest boy. The goodest boy of all the boys. That is a pit bull skull that my high priestess gave me. He sits up here now. He's great. This is my little vase display. I actually changed this for the seasons. This is still kind of the winter one. I don't necessarily decorate my altar all the time in accordance with every single Sabbath. I usually go by just the seasons. So this is, you know, Yule or winter, whatever you want to call it, the vase thing that I put together. I'm not a huge fan of it. Usually they're better looking than that, but this year's been really weird for me. So yeah, but those also change pretty soon. I'll be putting up the spring one when it gets a little bit closer to springtime. This is my incense burner. It's one of those wooden box ones. You can get them at Walmart for a couple bucks, I think, and you can, they have little plates in there for cones. They have two little hot plates for the cones, and then they have, each side has a hole where you can insert the stick incense into it. And the smoke is really cool, and it comes out the holes, and it's just, it's great. This is my athemi. It is a German dragon's claw. I will straight up warn you, if you look up the backstory and kind of what... This type of weaponry was used for, it does have a little bit of a dark history. I don't correspond it with that. This was something that my father gave me, and I connected to it a lot, so it's my athemi. I don't really use my athemi much in my craft anyway, so I don't know, but I think it's cool. There's also another bone. Yeah. Lighters. Look at the sacred bick. This is my pendulum. I've shown a lot of people this pendulum and they absolutely love it because it's a cage. If you can see there, it's an actual cage with a pentacle on it. And it came with these different crystals. There's clear quartz, amethyst, sodalite, rose quartz. And then there's that one, which I cannot for the life of me remember the name of at this time. At Green Adventurine and Jade. But it kind of gives me the option to work with kind of different energies where I don't have just a crystal pendulum. Oh, God. Okay. I don't have just one crystal pendulum where it's just that one crystal. I can kind of pick and choose what energies I want to tune myself with based on who I'm trying to communicate with or what I'm trying to do. Here is my singing bowl. I actually recently got this for Christmas from my husband. I love it. It has the... uh Flower of Life symbol in it, which for some reason that particular sacred geometry is a symbol that I'm like obsessed with and I'm not quite sure why, but when I saw that there was a singing bowl that had that pattern, I was like, I need to have it. That's my singing bowl. There's my tarot deck. Baby witch tip. If you have a piece of selenite, it's really good to keep it on your tarot deck whenever you're not using it, if it's just sitting on your altar or whatever. Put a piece of selenite in it. Selenite is self-cleansing, self-charging, so it's really good for basically just keeping around to keep things good and cleansed, so I like to put it on my tarot deck. That's my Book of Shadows. A hey, More pentacles. So, that's a basic overview of my actual working altar. It's not very big. It's literally two cheap end tables that were pushed together, and I threw an altar cloth over it. So... I even have little lights. And then there's donkey. This is a donkey skull. This was given to me by a very good friend of mine. I guess found it on a property of a good friend of hers. And she just gave it to me because I collect weird things. If you couldn't tell, things that are dead, things that are just odd. <laughs> I like weird things, okay? This is my scepter. Another baby witch tip. You do not have to use a wand. I never connected with wands. I didn't really like them very much. So I didn't I don't use a wand. I use a scepter. This scepter I also purchased. Yes, it is okay to purchase them. You can make them, you can buy them, it doesn't really matter as long as you connect with them. 
This is just a goat skull that was attached to this kind of twisting branch here that's very gorgeous. The stone, which I believe is jade, the feathers that I attach to it on either side, these little skull dudes that are on either side. I put those on myself, but the basic skull and the base was already put together. And that is my scepter. Would you laugh if I said I named him Beelzebub? Because I did. Here, look, witch hat, stereotypes. Look, I even have earrings that are pentacles. You might have seen them in some of my videos. I love them. Look, a poster. A poster. Kind of looks like the moon goddess. I don't know, but I liked it. Look, another poster. And another poster. And another poster. And here's a frame of feathers because like I said before, I collect weird things. I also have kind of candles set up at the uh, four quarters here. That one's kind of off because my door is like right there. Also, look, I made that. Isn't it so freaking hideous? But I made it and it's great. And it hangs on the back of my door. Another quarter. That thing. That was the first ever macambre, whatever the hell it's called, where you tie a bunch of knots and do things with it. It's really messed up. But I made it and it was the first one I ever made. So, of course, it's going to be really fucked up. That is... My Ostara crown thing also made it. Looks hideous, but it's great. This is my cloak. This is my husband's cloak. He likes blue. His staff's kind of hiding under it. This is my uh, crown. I use kind of to wear as a devotion to the Morgan sometimes because, you know, obvious reasons there. That's my ritual dress. It's just kind of a black sexy looking cocktail dress this if you can see it properly because it's over my window so the lighting's going to be weird that's my uh tapestry only one i own right now and these if i can focus are my tiny jar charms you can buy these at my etsy shop these are the actual necklace versions of it anyway of all different varieties different kinds this is where I usually hang my necklaces and stuff any kind of spiritual necklace magical necklace I usually wear I'm wearing most of them right now so there's only this one here devotional altar for Le Morgan this is a statue I got of them from the shop my high priestess runs this is a cow skull look another another dead thing uh, there are some associations with cattle with the Morgan and stuff like that. So I figured, you know, it's a cow. How appropriate. Let me pick this up so you can actually see it. This is my smoke cleansing fan. It's actually made out of crow and raven feathers with a leather handle. Got it off Etsy. Yeah. Look, another dead thing. This is just a moth. Just a moth, just just a mummified moth I found, and I was like, yeah, I have to have it. This is my Morgan necklace that I wear whenever I'm doing any kind of work with her or devotional work. I wear that necklace, and it is on a bed of feathers, because as you can see, literally everywhere, everywhere, everywhere is feathers. <laughs> I have a thing for feathers. I have a bird feeder outside my front yard, so it's kind of like, oh, I feed the birds, and they give me feathers and stuff, and sometimes their bodies, but you know, mainly just feathers and stuff that I collect. This is my offering bowl for the Morgan. Just some basic candles. There's some little kind of wintry flowers back there. The kind of backsplash, I guess you could call it also does change with the seasons, so even the Morgan's Altar does kind of get a little bit of a seasonal change every time. My special Morgan anointing oil. I also have, look at this, another weird thing. Yeah, this is an old uh, wasp's 
nest, I believe. And I, uh, I picked it up and I stuck some bones in it because why, I mean, what else, what else am I supposed to do with it? Look, another feather. That's an owl feather. This is the lovely incense burner that I have specifically just for devotional incense. I will not use this for anything else other than incense that I am offering to the Morrigan. There's also a pine cone. There's also a little bit of dragon's blood sage because I, I only have that little bit left because I refuse to burn it. Even though I can buy more, I refuse to. So I'm hoarding this last little bit of it. I also have some crystals and stuff up here. Little black onyx, little quartz. Yeah, and that big old rock I found by a river. Specifically a river called the Strawberry River, but since there are some associations of the Morrigan with like rivers and stuff like that with the washer at the Ford uh, story, I found it by a river. It looked pretty, so bam, you get a rock on the altar. So moving down here, this is the bookshelf that the devotional altar is actually on top of. This is kind of like my storage area. I have my jars of all my herbs and flowers and stuff. You kind of can't see it very well back there, but there's some jars that are covered in black cloth. And I'm out of breath because I'm just talking too damn much. But I have some jars back there that are covered in black cloth. Those are my moon water, you know, keeping them out of the sunlight. Those are my hordes of uh, incense cones <laughs> laying everywhere. Sometimes witchcraft is not organized and clean. And sometimes my bookshelves are a mess. And that little candor, cor blah, 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 corner, I have like all my spare candles. I have this spray that I made. This is a special kind of like warding spray that I spray around the corners of like my house, my rooms, my windows. Kind of just keeps all the bad juju out, creates kind of a shield that only invites love in. It's great. I actually made a TikTok with the recipe for this. Go find it if you want to look it up. In between the jars of the herbs and the candles, I got some kind of oils and stuff hidden back there. It's, I'm not super organized all the time, but there is somewhat of a method to the madness here. Second shelf is all my books. My Buckland books, my herb and crystal references. Stuff about the Morrigan, you know, all the beginner Wicca books and stuff that I learned. A lot of stuff by Aaron Murphy Hitchcock. I know it's not a lot right now, but, you know, I've only really been practicing not even a full two years yet, so. This is all I got, and some of these I haven't actually read yet, because a lot of these I actually got this past Christmas from my husband, so I have yet to actually get through them. I also got a couple of little jars here of uh, flowers and stuff like that. My Immortal and Pestle, Agate Slice, Crystally Elf Ears. Look, there's a piece of pink salt, because why not? Look at my little crow boy. Excuse the really weird fucked up carpet. Down in the last shelf is just kind of general junk and storage. I have extra feathers, extra baggies, extra herbs, extra odds and ends. All my really big like tower candles that you can get at the Dollar Tree are down there. Spare jars, sewing kit for weird stuff. This boy. This good boy. He was actually a prop in one of my videos. It's just a gift that my father gave me a long time. No magical value, just sentimental. So he chills in here. Over here, I have all my seasonal wreaths. If you follow me on like Amino, you've probably seen me post these before. I made wreaths for every season. These are some of them. The winter one's still hanging on my door. Um, if you guys, I mean... I'm looking to expand my Etsy, so if you guys like these and you want one, they will be a bitch to ship. But I would be willing to add these type of things to my Etsy shop. Uh, leave a comment below, I guess, if you think I should add these to my shop. And I might make one for you. Storage stuff. Ignore the mess. This is kind of my little... A workspace I guess you could call it this is where I make a lot of like my candles I have a bunch of essential oils up here as you can see some of the candles that I've made I just recently bought some glassware and stuff I'm going to be using to make some candles 
this is just kind of where I keep all my like Etsy related stuff and the things that I make and the things that I work on. I have my little keychain stuff over there. So, and this is just a folding table. Like, as you can see, the walls are messed up. I live in a really old trailer. So, I mean, this is just kind of a show to all the baby witches out there. You don't have to have your space super gorgeous and aesthetic and, you know, all those people that you see on Tumblr and Instagram and TikTok and everything. Your space doesn't have to look like that. Mine is pretty in some places and then you look at like the walls and stuff and it's like, oh, this bitch is trailer park trash. But it's okay. <laughs> And this is just a result of a little less than two years of work, of making things, of buying things, of collecting things, of being given things. This is what I got so far. Y'all wanted an altar tour? Look at my crazy unicorn. Look at it. That's it, y'all.